Hi guys, welcome back. It's Ben Cullen, the Bake King. This has got to be one of my favourite illusion cakes that I've made. Not too long ago, I made a glass of water cake. Um, it went down so well. People really loved that illusion. So this has got to be one of my favourites up to date. Summer's on its way, so I thought, what's a more perfect cake to try and make? I'm calling this cake the cake on the beach. So I've gone for... But it's not even a real, I don't even know what this cocktail is because I actually did a lot of the cocktails like Sex on the Beach. It's red and then yellow, whereas I've done it yellow turning red. So kind of did it back to front, which is typical of me. When you're on holiday, you just can't help yourself, can you? You sit down on holiday and say, come on, should we treat ourselves? Let's get a cocktail. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing I'm doing is just get a sheet cake. So I'm using just um, vanilla cake and using a circle cutter, I'm cutting out um, a load of circles. These are gonna make up the layers for the cake. I'm gonna put them next to a glass to get a rough idea of the sort of um, shape and size of a glass that I would need. Then I'm gonna mix up some ganache. So I'm using white chocolate ganache because I wanna color it red. So when I've made the white chocolate ganache, I'm just gonna add some red food coloring and mix that up because I want this bright impact when you cut through it to match the outside of the glass. So I'm going for red. So now I'm just gonna start stacking up those circles with the red ganache in the middle, the white chocolate ganache. Now I'm just gonna go around the whole outside um, with that same ganache and just do a thin layer all around and on top just to let this set. You can be a bit rough with this at this stage because you can smooth it afterwards after it starts to set. Now I'm just gonna roll out some sugar paste. I've actually mixed in a little bit of the modeling paste with this um, just so it sets a bit more stiff and then measuring out you know, exactly to the height and width I want um, in comparison to the size of my like glass. I'm gonna make a long rectangle that's gonna hopefully just wrap perfectly the shape that I want. The right height, so it's all symmetrical and the right height. So I'm just gonna roll that up, spray a bit of water on the set ganache. This will help stick the sugar paste to the cake. And then just gonna roll it around and start to smooth it. Trying to smooth it right to each other on the edges. Make sure it's as straight around the sides as possible before letting it set. Once you've let it set, you've let it go, um, you know, hold its shape. Try not to move it about too much while it's setting because you want those real um, flat edges, do you know what I mean? Or smooth edge, that smooth sides, um, so that it's as close. So any light that hits it, you want it to just reflect off it so that it looks so smooth. Obviously a glass would be so smooth. So any small little indiscrepancies are gonna like show up and ruin the illusion. Now I'm doing this a little bit of a weird way now that I've not done before because now I'm actually like carving down and taking cake away from where I already had it. I think that this just works because the cake, the sides had already set. So it leaves it like more rigid um, rim. Sometimes you get a bubble if you try and leave, you know, have it out. I made a cocktail to base it on. I just like used my imagination to create some sort of cocktail. So using that reference, I'm just going to start to like do the rim at the bottom of the glass because this is really important for the illusion um, is to make the colour start from the right moment so that you've got that solid glass base. Make a strip of sugar paste as well now to mask off that area at the bottom because I'm about to airbrush it and I don't want any airbrush going on that bottom bit because I want that to keep its white colour. Now onto the exciting part, airbrushing. This is gonna bring this cake to life. So first of all, I'm going in with some yellow. I've got the orange juice next to me, you can see, because I wanted to um, match that color exactly. So I'm using the lemon yellow from Spectrum Flow. I'm just using um, water base for these. And then I've added a bit of strawberry red to my cup to create the orange, and I'm gradually adding more strawberry red as I build up towards the top to get the deeper red tones um, as I get closer to the top of the, the cake. See, now I'm just making sure that hasn't stuck at the bottom, you can see. 
that the white is still crisp. Using a syringe, what I've done now is I've actually used um, it's the the little the jelly. Oh, what's it called? So for this, I'm actually using the diamond gel from um, Ingenious Edibles, which is ideal for something like this. I've also used it before for ice cubes and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just using some red diamond gel. You can just see the effect works so well for things like this. Now I'm gonna work on the base. Again, with the actual cocktail next to me, I'm just trying to match the colors and the shapes that are reflected from the angle that I'm gonna film or take the photos of this cake. Around the top of the glass, I'm gonna do like a, you know, when they dip it in sugar. So what I've done is I've just put some edible pipe and gel as a glue around the side. I'm just pouring the sugar on to get this sugar effect. Now using my airbrush with nothing in it, so just the air, I'm just blowing away the excess sugar from, from on the top. I'm using a combination of that and a paintbrush just to slowly get all the um, sugar out. For the ice cubes, I'm using isomol. Now for the watermelon. I just got a watermelon, sliced it up, um, and like I say, for the reference, I actually used a real watermelon. So when I wanted to make the chocolate version, I've just took that watermelon, put it next to me, and now I'm gonna try and copy it as best as possible. So this is white modeling chocolate that I'm using for the watermelon. I'm trying to texture it as close as possible to the real watermelon next to me, and then again, I'm trying to color it. I'm actually gonna go with painting this one rather than airbrushing, but I'm still using the Spectrum Flow colors. I'm just using the water-based colors, and I'm spreading them on, trying to match the color exactly to the watermelon that I've got next to me. I was really happy with this, and I could have just used a real watermelon slice, the one that's there, so I was really happy with how it turned out, actually. Using the isomalt ice cubes, just popping them on top. So that's it guys, that's how you make the Cake on the Beach Cocktail Illusion Cake. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you make this cake or any of the cakes based on any of the cakes that I've made, please let me know and show me pictures because I love to see your cakes that are inspired by my work. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks as always for the support. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing loads more like this, video tutorials, behind the scenes, things like that so that you guys can make the cakes at home yourself um, and know the secrets behind how I make these illusion cakes. Thanks very much, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all on the next video.